I, I went through a breakup in college um, and uh, it was like weird the way she broke up. She was like, oh, you love me too much, can't be with you. <laughs> it's like a weird thing to say because like, yeah, I thought love is the reason you're doing it. You know? <laughs> but like, I get what she meant. She, like, I probably was like too into it and she wasn't. But that's the only thing we do. That. We only do that with like romantic relationships, you know? No one's ever like, like I have a mother who loves me a lot. I've never been like, mom, I'm not looking for a serious mother right now. <laughs> Just do my laundry and don't follow me. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people on dating apps are adding uh, sapiosexuals as their preference. Do we know what this is? Sapiosexuals? Yeah? Yeah. Sapiosexuals are people who are attracted to people who also know the meaning of the word sapiosexual. <laughs> That's right. What's the worst autocorrect you ever got? Yeah. I thought it's like usually the other way around. Because you try to type fuck and they're like duck. But for him, it's like nah. They know exactly what I'm trying to do. At what situation did you have to type duck? Like, look at those ducks. We used to have pet ducks in Bangladesh. You had duck, pet ducks in Bangladesh? Yeah, you, you're, you're like rich then, right? <laughs> If you can afford pet dogs, dude, that's like the one percent. <laughs> Do you have like a pond? No, we didn't have a pond. They were just like there, and then you don't have a pond for the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> They're just there, and you call it your pet. They're like, "That's my pet duck." <laughs> and we immigrated here, and then my dad ate them. <laughs> your dad ate your pet ducks. And then you're like, my dad ate my duck. He's a dick. <laughs> He's such a dick. <laughs> Did he tell you that story? That uh, you're... Yeah? yeah no, and... was, so my sister, my mom and I had immigrated together. My dad had stayed behind for a bit. And he cooked the duck? <laughs> I, I would like, like, talk, obviously. Like, yeah. Every, like, a week. And then one time I was like, oh, how are like, my pet ducks doing? And then he was like, silent. <laughs> So, <laughs> your dad was at home by himself with the ducks. Yeah, like, yeah, obviously, like, my grandma was there. My yeah. Was there. No one stopped him. No one stopped him. He's like, look at these ducks. And your grandma is like, yeah, that's normal. That's my son. That's my son. This is like the craziest story I've ever heard. So when you go to therapy, do you talk about this? You've never brought up the duck story? That's, the, that's like day one. It's like, yeah, my dad uh, ate my ducks. And that's why I can't commit to a girl. I don't know. I have issues, dude. I went to the 9-11 museum. Has anyone been to the 9-11 museum? You have been? What do you think? Uh, at first, was, it's a big hole. It's a big hole? Yeah, that's, that's when I went. I went early. Oh, you went to like... You're like, September 12th, you're there. You're like, oh, let's see what happens, dude. The museum looks empty. It's just a hole? Selfie. Hell yeah, dude. They just had the, just had the, the names up, and that was it. Was the like, names up? Yeah. yeah. Do you find any names you liked? <laughs> they only have the names up? So you didn't go for the museum. You just went to New York. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else went to the actual museum? <laughs> you have, miss? No, no one, ha no one else has been to the museum. You're all Americans, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm the only patriot here. <laughs> yeah, I went to the museum. If you don't know, there's a gift shop. <laughs> Did you guys hear what I said? There's a gift shop. That's the most American thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I saw a mug. It said 9-11 on it. <laughs> Who's drinking out of that mug? <laughs> Who's that guy at work? He's like, yeah, I just got this souvenir. You guys like it? <laughs> Do you guys like my souvenir? One of the first fast foods that came to talk, like Taka, Bangladesh, was KFC. Do you guys know about KFC? It was, uh, it was July 19, 2006. 
<laughs> yeah, I remember the date. It was pivotal. I remember the prime minister talked about it. They're like, we're, we're so happy we have KFC. It, I'm not even making this up. She, ta- she addressed it. She's like, we have KFC finally in Bangladesh. <laughs> Can you imagine if Joe Biden did that? They're like, oh, we are opening a local Wendy's in Somerville. And we're so proud of it. Do you remember when we had to get the vaccine back in the day? We didn't really have an option. We just like went to the place and they just gave us whatever they had. It was like the soup of the day situation. They're like, we have lentil. I'm like, I wanted tomato. Do you remember that? I remember when I showed up, they're like, we're going to give you Pfizer. And I was like, can I get Moderna? She's like, why would you want Moderna? I was like, I have stocks in Moderna. (laughs) She's like, what? I was like, I'm like a part owner of Moderna Pharmaceuticals. They're like, I don't care. (laughs) I'm gonna give you Pfizer anyway. I was like, why would you do that? She's like, I have stocks in Pfizer. (laughs) 